guys, Sustainable Prepper here. <clears throat> Actually, Sustainable have a cold and achy body chills prepper here. But hey, I am doing just fine. Otherwise, it's just been a long time since I've been able to upload some videos. So I'm going through a few things since I'm actually slowing down and have time to edit. Um, and thinking, you know what? It's the first good day of cold weather we've been having that's showing what winter's going to be like. And I'm thinking, you know what? I have a really good stockpile of hay for the animals. So tomorrow we'll be loading everybody's new bedding. But on the other hand, I'm thinking, you know what? I never did show you guys the video of what we do when we do hay. So watch this clip and I'm going to go find me a good uh, hot cup of tea for my sore throat. So see you in just a little bit. We just failed one of our fields for winter this year. Um, we're not using as much, so why put in so much of the effort? But let me show you how we got here. First thing first, Mr. SP has to cut the fields with a um, sycamore attached to our Massey Ferguson. Crazy you find a copperhead. Go in front of the lawnmower. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, he's pretty. Hold on. He's a, he's a pretty copperhead. So some of us can appreciate a snake. I, I love this coloring, but I just don't like the, you know, the pain that comes along with them. I know you're going on YouTube, bro. Yeah, no. Not the first time. All right, grab a shovel, Don. Or do oh. with the... It takes three people. It, it only takes one. You should just got a pitchfork like I usually do. Well, that's the thing. All right, bro. We're going to do this this way. You ready? You ready? Oh, great. Yeah. I'm going to flip that way. <laughs> he's still there. Oh, and he's gonna be pissed. Yeah, I know you're pissed. Just pinch his head. Don't you come towards me? I remember there's some business. You know they're dead. Uncle Dirt, I just flipped up. Put that chunk of dirt up. Oh, we're doing a burial today. <laughs> Just came off. <laughs> well, you did before. Ain't no head on it. I'm good. Going went over what you have in the house. <laughs> well, Breezy used to bring them in the house all the time. Sure, it's pretty. To get the hay that was cut all in a row, we use a five-wheel hay rake. I believe it's an M&M brand, so if I'm wrong, please someone put it down in the comments so I can tell. Once we have all of the hay rows completed, my husband swaps out for our case 200 square baler. Um, we don't use the large bales because we just don't have all the equipment. And these small squares allow me uh, to pick them up and move them without anyone else having to assist me every day.
one part that I really hate when it's really hot out and you're doing the hay fields is uh, when those bales bust, I have to line them back up manually with the rake and not the rake that they have on the tractor. <laughs> Um, and then that way he can go back over it again and make another good square bale. part of the day I am so happy to look around and see that there's only a few windrows left to do. I'm about done for the day. On our last row on our far field for doing hay. We might have a hundred bales here. It's just a few acres. And boy is it hot. Even Tootsie's helping today. you tractor lovers here's a uh, walk around of our equipment um, the Massey Ferguson tractor with uh, attachment for the case 200 baler
finished the hay out of our one field. It gave me about 157 bales, I believe. So I just keep a small farm. That will do me for quite a while. So we might not even hay the larger field unless friends need hay. <laughs> Alrighty, gonna go take a break. Thanks so much for watching. Alrighty on my comfy robe and a good warm hot cup of Rubos Tropics tea. It smells medicinal but it really helps uh, with a little bit of from fresh honey. It really helps you feel a little bit better. <clears throat> so I am gonna go and sit my tush on the couch by the fire and do nothing. <laughs> See you guys later.